What's up, Tigers? Today is Thursday, September 1st. My name is Leah Mitchell. And I'm Paige Hall. And, and this, this is your, your Morning Roar. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now observe a moment of silence. Calling all seniors, we are, ha we are inviting you to meet with an admissions representative from Clayton State University during your lunch period in the cafeteria on September 7th. Don't miss out. If you are interested in me in the National Social Studies Honor Society, please see Ms. Kramlin for an application. You must have taken two or more social studies classes, not including electives, and obtain a 90 or above. You will need a copy of your transcript to apply. Please complete your application by Wednesday, September 7th. Looking for a way to earn volunteer hours? Would you like to make a difference in your community? You can do both of these things and more by joining the Fayette County Public Library Teens Advisory Council. The organization will meet once a month. If you are interested, please stop by the Media Center to see Ms. Jacobs and pick up a flyer. They will have an informational meeting on September 10th at 11 a.m. There is still time to register for the Six Books of Summer Reading Challenge. The deadline to complete your reading log and book reviews is Thursday, September 22nd. You can scan the QR code or stop by the Media Center and talk to Ms. Jacobs for more information. Students who meet the challenge of reading six books will be treated to a full ice cream Sunday bar and have their names entered into a raffle for Amazon and Starbucks gift cards. The Green Club will be having its first meeting after school on September 8th. All are welcome. Please watch this video for more information. Are you interested in gardening, volunteering, and helping the environment? Join Green Club for its first official orientation meeting on September 8th in room 1215. For future reminders, text at GreenFCHS to the number 81010. Hope to see you there! For all students interested in joining the chess club, there will be an informational meeting today right after school in Dr. Harmon's room 2213. You do not need to know how to play to join. Regular meetings will start next week on Tuesday mornings at 745 and Thursday afternoons at 350. Please see Dr. Harmon for more details. Calling all artists, come and join the FCHS Art Club. Here, we will collaborate with fellow artists and create bonds with the art community. Our first meeting is today from 4 to 5 p.m. in the art room. If you have any questions, contact Dr. Harmon for details. Ladies, the new student club gyms, also known as Girls Empowerment Movement, is right for you. To join, please attend the first meeting on Wednesday, September 7th at 4 p.m. in the Media Center. Every meeting will include a fun and engaging theme that goes towards the goals for gyms. If you have any questions, visit their Instagram, gyms underscore FACO, or stop by the Media Center for more details. All boys who are interested in playing basketball, there will be a voluntary conditioning starting September 7th. You must have an updated physical to participate. To try, tryouts will be held October 24th. We have our second home game of the season, tomorrow at 7.30 against Spalding High. Come out and support your Tigers. Also, here are some of your candidates for your class officers. My name is Sitara Juma and I am running for senior class president. I believe I have what it takes to become president because I was a part of student government last year and I already have a lot of plans and ideas that I want to happen for our senior year. I want our senior year to be fun and exciting and I am willing to listen to any of your ideas and I will try to make them happen. Since it is our last year, I want it to be very memorable. So. Vote Tatara if you're swag. Uh, my name is John Fleming. I'm a senior, class of 2023, and I'm running for president of the class of 2023. Jayla said I should join the cheer team, and now I'm the cheer captain. Jayla said wear jewelry, so we wear jewelry. Jayla said I should express myself, so I dyed my hair. Jayla got her nose 
nose pierced, so we got our nose pierced. Hi, my name is Jayla Musa, and I'm running for your senior class president. I've been in student government for three years. If you haven't seen me around there, then you've probably seen me at Tiger Tailgate. I also have a leadership position in HOSA. If you want a class trip and staff versus student basketball game, vote me. Describe me in one word. Ambitious. Responsible. Passionate. Reliable. Motherly. Determined. Mature. Productive. The GOAT. Fun. Magnificent. Compassionate. I would say leader. Mm -hmm. I would say energetic. Let me carry. <laughs> My name is Uma Stone. I'm running for senior vice president. I'm currently president of the host. I have been a part of student government for two years and I hope one time you tell me. If you want a new fun activity like powder puff for volleyball, vote me. So if you want the best, vote for the best. Hey y'all. My name is Sanaya Gathers and you should vote me for class of 2023's vice president. <laughs> And here are some fun facts about me. I have served as the class of 2023's vice president for two years in a row. I am an AP student, a Georgia certified nursing assistant, and I participate in the drama club. Vote Lanai for vice president. Y'all make sure you go vote Lanai get this for your class of 2023 vice president. Hey guys, my name is Sonia Bomani and I'm running for the class president for the class of 2023. You should vote for me because one, I have experience. As a president of National Social Studies Honor Society and Interact Club, I know how to handle a student body and make your voice be heard, such as what theme we might have for prom or what lunch we might have for our senior lunch on. So vote for me, someone who's willing to make your voice heard rather than someone who's just running for the title. Vote for me, Osassi for class of 2023 vice president. As your vice president, I'll listen to you and make sure that your voice is heard. I promise as vice president that I will support the president and make sure that we bring those things that matter to us as a student body into our school and make a change. Hi, my name is Taylor Marie Williams and I'm running for class president for the class of 2024. I want us to have an amazing junior year and I plan to do this by being your class president. So remember, vote for me. Taylor Marie Williams. Vote for Taylor Marie Vote Marie for President. Stop whatever you're doing and go vote for Taylor Marie Williams. Vote for me, Taylor Marie Williams. Everything asking for but you. This brother Trent. Oh, don't worry. Vote. Hi, my name is Taylor G. Williams, and I'm running for your junior class president. Most people will give you 50 million reasons why you should vote for them, but however, I am only going to give you three. Number one. I have been a class officer for the past couple of years of our high school experience, as well as a part of these extracurriculars, in which I served as a person of leadership in many of those. And number two, I have many events and fundraisers planned for us to make our last two years of high school super special. And our last one, number three, I have wanted this for a long time, since middle school, in fact. I heard Leia is so smart, she counted to infinity twice. One time, Leia told me to become a drama teacher, so I became a drama teacher. Leia told me to be on the morning announcement, so now I'm on the morning announcement. Leia told me to shave my head, so I did it. Leia told me to start my business, so I started my business. Vote for Leia. Vote for Leia. Vote for Leia. Vote for Leia. Well, you heard my impact on others, so let me have an impact on you. Vote for me for your class president. Caballero, running for class president. So let's see how course student body. Make it 
make sure to vote for us for your class of 2024 president and vice president. Hi you guys, my name is Nicole and I am running for secretary. You guys should vote for me because I am very organized, I'm the life of the party, and I think I will be a great assistant for the upcoming um, vice president and president that will be in office for our school. Um, and like Ms. Bobby J said, you know, we're going to have it lit and y'all should vote for Nicole for secretary. Hello you guys. I'm Kylie today and I am running for vice president. I would like y'all to vote for me because I'm going to be bringing new activities for our high school year to be better and, and we can enjoy it. Like, I want to make it more fun. So vote for me please. Hi, my name is Natalie Rigo Gonzalez and I'm running for president of the sophomore student body. I'm an active member of the Tiger Troop as well as its vice president. Time management, communication, understanding, and kindness are all good qualities that a leader should have that I possess. I am able to handle my problems pretty well because I ration my options before deciding. I would love to be your president, voice your opinions, expand my leadership skills, and I would appreciate your vote. Thank you, I hope you have a good day. Hi, my name is Shifa Kishwani, and I'm running for sophomore student body vice president. Prior experiences I've had are that I was president for freshman last year and I help facilitate volunteers at my church. I have to exhibit leadership skills when I look over other volunteers to ensure they are doing their job right at my church every Saturday. For extracurricular activities, I am president of the Political Analysis Club, a member of the National Speech and Debate Club, a member of the FCHS Ambassadors, and the Green Club. If another person described me in three words, I would say optimistic, determined, and patient. I believe I would make a great vice president because I can work with everyone. Whoever is watching this, I hope you have a great rest of the week. Well, that's all for today, Tigers. Have a Tiger-tastic Thursday.